oh my god, the bed. Have you ever had like a like a pillow and you're like, ah, this pillow is great. I wish my bed were this pillow. It's kind of like that. This bed was so good, so good. I, if I were on death row and they said, what do you want for your final meal? I would say, how about instead you just give me like a 10 minute nap on one of those beds at the Sheraton at Universal, that good. The subtle genius of a Katie Porter reading a book while the speaker chaos was going on, a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Flip. Little on the nose, little heavy handed, little ham fisted, don't you think? People are losing their minds though. Ah, oh, could I love Katie Porter anymore? Um, it's a kind of an obvious joke, right? I mean, it'd be funnier if you had injected a little self-deprecation, maybe read uh, uh, Governing for Dummies would be funny. Um, Apathy for Dummies, another good one. Uh, a thesaurus. There's, there's a better joke in there somewhere. The other day, a guy was telling me a joke. He's like, hey, so a guy goes into a bar and, and all of a sudden the guy here is, hey, nice tie. And the guy's like, what? And then you can kind of see where this is going. Uh, then a second later, the uh, the peanuts say, hey, uh, I like your haircut. And the guy's like, what? And then he says to the bartender, what's going on? The bartender says those are complimentary. Okay, so yeah, you can see that coming a mile away. So to make that joke better, and I suggested this, uh, he didn't like it. Um, I said, you know what you should do is, that joke should go, uh, a guy goes into a bar, and all of a sudden the guy hears, uh, hey, fatty. And then he's like, huh, what? And then a second later, the peanuts say, hey, you smell. And then he says to the bartender, hey, I thought these were supposed to be complimentary peanuts. See, that's a little bit better. Not much better. A little bit better. Today is uh, Jim Croce's birthday. He would have been 80 years old, I hear. Uh, never really got into him when I was growing up, but uh, love him now. And I'm not talking about the slow stuff like Operator and Time in a Bottle. <laughs> Everybody knows Bad Bad Leroy Brown, but there's like Rapid Roy, the stock car boy, uh, Roller Derby Queen. Rapid Roy! One of the first parodies I ever wrote was Vapid Roy, that stock car boy. About a guy who just has really nothing interesting to say. Saw a commercial for uh, erectile dysfunction. Actually, it, was, I mean, it wasn't for it. It was against it. But uh, ED is what they shorten it to because... Erectile dysfunction just sounds comical because we've heard wardrobe malfunction so much. Conjunction junction. What's your function? How great was Schoolhouse Rock? Oh my God. I'm just a bill. Conjunction junction. You don't even know what it means. You're just like, you're a kid. You're like, ah, two words. Say it twice. Junction junction. And then you, later in life, you learn that a junction is where two roads come together. So the trains are meeting all of this at the junction in conjunction. And the play on, oh, man. chef kiss. You know what else I remember from Saturday morning? Uh, time for timer. It was like this yellow guy with really long legs. And he would sing, eat your vegetables. Uh, don't knock it till you try it. Put a little on your plate. Don't make a face before you taste it. Some kids think it's great. Hanker for a hunk of cheese.